Hey there, let's solve this Python problem that we get, the error, index error, list index out of range. What's happening here is that we're trying to access something, probably a value in a matrix or an array, that doesn't exist yet in time. In this example here, we've got the distance traveled array, and I have five values in here. But these five values are indexed 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Thus, if we were to call distance traveled the fifth index, well, the fifth index, it doesn't point to anything. That doesn't exist. There's only four terms here. If I run this, we're going to get an error. If I had an item in the fifth index position, like 10 there, it would work. This is often common, though, in for loops or while loops. Let's take a look below. In this example, let's say I'm trying to calculate some cumulative distance traveled. So here I've defined a cumulative distance array, just to find that as empty because I don't know how many values there might be in it. I've defined a distance array, and this contains all the individual distances that we've traveled. So let's say two kilometers to get to point A, five kilometers to get to point B from A, two kilometers to get to point C from B, right? So these are all the incremental distances traveled. And our goal then is to come out with a matrix or an array here that's got the goal of 2, 7, 9, 10, 17, right? Because our cumulative distance when we start is just 2, but then we travel 5 more, we get to 7, we travel 2 more, we get to 9, and so forth. To determine the algorithm we're trying to use, let's look at the value 9. So to get 9, we have to use the previous value in our goal matrix here of 7 and add it to the kind of current value that's seen in the distance array. I'm just gonna put a simple for loop together here, just using i as my index and the length of distance. So we're going through all the terms in distance. And I'm just gonna append this variable here, this cumulative distance, okay, with the append method here. And then whatever's inside the parentheses in append, this becomes the new item of that matrix in cumulative distance. That's kind of our goal, we're storing our stuff here in cumulative distance. What happens though, and so we're calling the, that ith term of distance, right? We're calling that kind of the two in the distance variable. And then we're calling cumulative distance the term before, right? So we want two here, this is the zero, one, two. So that's technically like the second index here. But then we want to add that to the first index of our cumulative goal variable here. So that's why I have the i minus one. And you'll see if we try to run this, we're gonna get an error. And why is that? Well, the first loop that we take, let's take a look. So i starts out as zero in this for loop. We're going through, we say dist i, what is that? Dist zero is two, great. So we have a value of two that replaces this. And then we go cumulative distance of i minus one. Well, cumulative distance, it's not even, it's initiated, but there's no values in there. So it's trying to find the negative one index of you know, cumulative distance, which simply does not exist. As we were talking about before, we need to find a way to get around this error. The simplest and best way to do it that I've seen is to just start off, whoops, start off here, sorry about that, and define a kind of temporary holder variable. I'm gonna call it previous cumulative distance. And we're gonna to try to replace this piece which is causing us the error with this previous cumulative distance value. And now the first part that's actually causing us trouble is that first loop, right, when i is zero. So we need to plan for that i equals zero scenario. So what happens? So previous cumulative distance then we can set to say, well, at the very start, that first term, well, it's gonna start as zero. We have no cumulative distance because we want this goal to start out as two, which is just the distance i term, right? It's just the zeroth index of i. So thus, that first term will work, right? We'll have dist i is two. We'll add in previous cumulative distance, which we've set to zero, and then two plus zero is zero. So our first term of our goal cumulative distance is simply gonna be two. That's exactly how we want this to start. But we have to then change that value at some point, right? If we did this for every single part in the loop, and I can just show you that, we're just gonna get back the same thing as distance because we never changed this value and we're just adding zero to everything in distance, hence just getting back distance. What we need to do then is change the previous value. 
let's set previous cumulative distance then in every loop to then equal cumulative distance i. So what does that do? So in the first loop, as we said, i is zero. Dist i is the zeroth index of dist, which is gonna be two. Okay, so we've got two here. This on the first loop, we set it to zero, so it's two. So we store in cumulative dist a value of two in the zeroth index. We move along here, and then we set previous cumulative distance. We change this value, right? We start it, but now we're changing this value here to be cumulative distance ith term that we set right here. So then in our scenario right now, this value will be two. So then previous cumulative distance becomes two. In the next loop then what happens, all right, now i becomes one. We grab that first index in dist. So we've got five and it adds previous cumulative distance, which is two. Well, those together are seven. We store seven here and then we save it as previous cumulative distance again and then we can iterate over and over. This is the best way that I've seen to solve this issue. We can just run it to make sure that things are looking right. And we get our goal here, 2791017, exactly what we we're looking for. Hope this helped. If it did, a thanks would be appreciated by subscribing to the channel, giving a like to the video. Please, if you have any questions on this, just comment below. I tend to help everyone I can. Have a great day. Talk to you later. Cheers.